Babe, how are you? Welcome. How are you doing? Thank God you're here. How was work today? Sorry, I'm a big piece. I am very, very hungry. Give me your bag. Let me drop upstairs. So you go directly to the kitchen and prepare something for me. I don't understand. Like you didn't make anything. I, I don't get that. I'm very stressed and hungry, and I was hoping to come back to something to eat at least. Like I'm your chef? Are you serious? Babe, you close by five, and I close by seven. Do does it matter? Does it matter? Yes. You are being very unreasonable. You close by 5, I close by 7. I enter the whole traffic to get here by 8, 9, and you expect me to enter the kitchen to make something. Like, you were expecting me to make something for you to eat? There is something in the fridge you can microwave. There is food stuff for you to make something. That's why you're my wife, okay? I am your husband. You prepare food for me to eat and not the other way around. You're very silly. I am not your slave. I am your wife. If you come back early, you make something for us to eat. That's how reasonable people think. Babe! See, I don't care. Just give me this bag. Go to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat, okay? If you won't make something, then we'll starve. Very, very silly! And then you're walking out on me. Babe! Come back here! Hello? Did you just walk out on me? No, it has gotten to the level where you walk out on me. Oh, fine. Mr. Bernard, I am not your slave. We got married because we love and want to support each other. Listen. So if you cannot support me, then I don't know what we're doing in this marriage. I am now Bernard. No, no, no. Did you just call me by my name? That's your name, obviously. Oh, wow. Mr. Bernard, I work and I provide for this family too. And I don't question you about it. Listen, I am the man of this house. I pay almost all the bills in this house. And I So you don't expect me to go inside the kitchen and cook. Mr. Bernard, I support. It doesn't happen anywhere. I, I will not cook. Okay? If you know what's good for you, go to the kitchen, prepare something for your husband to eat. I will not. Mr. Bernard, I close by 7 o'clock and you close by 5. I am not your slave. I am your wife, I am your partner. See, We're listen. in this together to grow. My father did not do this. My forefather did not do this. It would definitely not start from me. Are you hearing me? Then get ready to start. Get ready to start. Do you see my problem with people of this generation? This is this is where girls of marriage lose their marriages. Okay? Now, prepare something for your man to eat. I will not. You will not do that. If you will leave this marriage because you cannot make something for us to eat, then leave. Then Mr. Bernard, I came back by seven. What is that? This almost eight. Uncle, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uncle, mm -hmm. I called you here. Because of what is happening in this house lately. Of course, we know I am the man and the head of this house. Exactly. I cannot be paying all the bills and still put money down for food. And me will still be the one to prepare the food. No, no, no. No, Man, no, 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 now. It's not done. You see? You're not supposed to do that. Okay. You are the man of the house. Okay. <coughs> and you pay the bills, right? Yes. It's all right. I've heard from you now. Yeah. I cannot judge without listening to the other party's um, side. So, our uh, wife, let me hear from you first. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, actually, I do not have an issue with cooking for my husband because I always do. I've always been cooking for him. Okay. But most times, Let's be reasonable. You close by five. No, you close by four. Before you get home, let's say with the whole traffic and everything, five. Okay. I close by seven. I walk to. Before I get home, eight, nine, with the whole Lagos traffic. Hmm. And you expect me to come back and cook for you. And the crazy part is that they are already made food in the house. Like I cook every weekend, varieties of food, and I stock in the fridge. It's just for you to bring out something, microwave for us to eat. Mm. If you want something fresh, there are lots of foodstuffs I support to buy at home. You make something for us. Mm. Not for you to sit down and wait till 8, 9, when I come back with the whole stress, 
to go to the kitchen and make something for you to eat. That's not reasonable. Is that not why you are my wife? Uh, 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 mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You pause there. Is that not why you are my wife? So, wait, oh, you close by 4 and you get home by 5 o'clock. So, when you get home by 5 o'clock, you wait for your wife to come back by 7 or 9 before you eat food that you're supposed to eat in your stomach. Do you know that this, there is, this sickness, that they call, is it Osa? <laughs> Osa is real. Do you know about that one? You know that Osa is real. And you are, you are allowing the devil to tempt you with Osa. Eh? Benkash, remove that cash from your name. You are not, no longer a young boy. You are a man. You married her as your wife and not your slave. Do you understand? If you are hungry, you are supposed to cook these things and you eat. No need for you to wait for her to come back before you cook. So if you come back now and she's very tired, you both are working now. You are working, she's working. If you're tired, you will help her out. Because marriage, my brother, eh? <clears throat> marriage is, is when you when you marry to your wife, you are one, not two. One, help her out when you're supposed to help her out. Do you understand me? Understand the points. My brother, use your head. The sense that God gave you, use it as a man of the house. She's not your slave. Don't treat her like a slave. You don't have kids here too. What if you if you have twins? You give her the tw two twins, like the two the, the, the twins. You give her everything. When she come back from work, when she's tired, she will carry the twins. She will go to the kitchen and cook for you too. You will eat with your mouth, with your mouth, this mouth like this. You will eat. Ah, use this your sense. Use it. Use it. You are a man. Use it. If you don't have, borrow from your neighbor. Go and knock your neighbor's door. Knock. Say, ah, neighbor, give me sense. Let me use it for my wife. When you get married, you both are one. There's no need for you to, when you, when you need to wash clothes for her, you help her and wash. If you tired, you help her and wash. If it's time for you to cook, you cook. You cannot be waiting for your wife to come by, by 12 o'clock before you eat. No, now. She's not your slave. She's not your slave. That's why she's your wife. So have that thing in your head. Don't treat her as if she's your slave in your house. That's all I have to say.